Hey guys, my name is Azaria and welcome to my channel. Today I have my first relaxed hair update and I am so excited to film this video because I have a lot to talk about. Okay, jumping right into the video, I have a few clips that I'll put in throughout so you can see what I'm talking about and the different processes that I went through. But I relaxed my hair at 14 weeks post relaxer. I got my last relaxer in June and I just got my hair done on the 15th, no, sorry, the 17th of September. So that was 14 weeks that I stretched my relaxer for. And I must say my stretch wasn't that bad. It only got a little difficult dealing with my new growth in the last, like, I think two to three weeks of stretching. And I was really trying to manage with moisturizing my new growth and keeping it detangled and moisturized as much as I can um, just to help manage the stress between the new growth and my relaxed ends as well as just it being dry and tangled so the stretch actually really it really wasn't that bad in terms of my relaxing process my hairstylist philly she's located in arima if anyone is interested she hands down one of the best hairstylists that i've been to especially in trinidad she's very professional very pleasant there's never like an awkward moment between you and her like she's very talkative she knows how to interact with you and make you feel very comfortable while you're in her salon and i always have a good experience when i go to her so i was very pleased with my relaxer okay um getting into more specifics um, she used a sodium hydroxide relaxer in my hair this time. She did not use that last time. She used a sensitive scalp calcium based relaxer from Design Essentials. And what she was explaining to me is that she likes to switch between a sodium hydroxide relaxer and a calcium based relaxer just so that the hair does not get used to a certain type of relaxer and you don't get calcium buildup on your strands. And like one thing I really love about going to her, she's very informative and she knows what she's doing and she's very knowledgeable about hair and she always teaches me new stuff when I go there so that's one thing that I learned when I got my hair relaxed last time and I was very very interested by and when she relaxed my hair she did the back first and then she came to the front of my hair um this relaxer did burn a bit the sodium hydroxide versus when I first got my hair relaxed again I did not get any burns nothing like i didn't even feel it it was just like on my hand i didn't feel it but i definitely felt it this time and it's because the relaxer she used this time is much stronger than the first one that she used in my hair and she did explain that to me as well so all in all between the application and the relaxer sitting on my hair that lasted probably between 20 to 25 minutes i could have held on a little longer for the relaxer to process but she washed it out and the reason why she did not want to over process my hair she explained that relaxing your hair dead straight is actually very unhealthy and it reduces the integrity of your hair so she didn't relax it dead straight and even though i was a little bit disappointed by that because i i like having my hair dead straight it like it reduces from the amount of heat i have to use to get it straight i understand her reasoning behind it and i'm, and I'm actually okay with it it's fine having a little texture in my hair is is okay with me and it's fine by me she went through the neutralizing steps of getting the relaxer out my hair she neutralized my hair with a shampoo a neutralizing shampoo three times so she was very very precise and very adamant about getting that relaxer out my hair because it's very dangerous to leave relaxer in your hair as we all know and then she went on to doing one moisturizing shampoo and then a treatment afterwards when you get your hair relaxed you get a treatment thrown in there and that's just her process of how she does things she left that treatment on my hair for about 10 minutes and then we rinsed and i went into the blow drying and the flat iron process i wanted my hair straight i didn't want any curls in it there's a little bit of wave now because of how i wrapped it i'm still learning to wrap my hair i'm not i'm not good at wrapping and that whole process is just extremely stressful to me i'm going to be honest like 
I just can't wrap my hair, but I'm I'm determined to get it and I'm practicing from now on. I'm be, I'm going to practice and I'm going to get it, but it just has a slight wave from the wrapping and the pins, but other than that, it is straight for the most part. And the last thing that she did was she gave me a trim. She took about a half inch to an inch off in certain areas. I will insert a picture here of what the end product was after the trim. I was not completely satisfied with how my ends looked. When I came home and I looked at the pictures and stuff, I realized that it was a bit uneven and I like my ends to be very even but I'm not stressing about that too much I have to go back to her in about two months to get a treatment done I want to do a strengthening treatment on my hair so I will just have her even them off when I go back to her at that time but as of now my ends are not completely even but it's not like drastic you have to like like go in and actually Look at my ends to see that, but it is noticeable from the pictures that I took when I got home. Comparing my hair from when I first relaxed it to my relaxed hair now, I think that my hair did grow a bit and it did get a bit fuller and I'm happy about that. I'll insert a before and after picture now for you to see what I'm talking about. It's a little bit hard to tell the difference because the first picture I had to zoom in a bit and then the second picture or my most recent picture, you know, it's more precise because I actually made an effort to take that back shot picture to show you guys what my hair looks like now versus the, the first picture was just like a spur of the moment picture that I took. But I, I don't want to be biased, but I can see a difference. I can see a little bit of length as well as fullness in that picture. My hair definitely looks a lot more shiny and a lot more healthier. That could also be camera quality we're talking about here but I'm happy with how my hair is progressing and how it looks now in terms of my hair routine and how I'm gonna go moving forward my hairstylist Philly <laughs> guys she went in on me she was questioning me she was like why are you doing this what are you using in your hair what is the process of this you know like what are the benefits of using a process how much heat are you putting on your hair like I mean, she had a right to because I realized that I was actually doing some things wrong and I need to switch up my routine a bit. When she was, you know, just analyzing my hair and assessing my hair for me, she realized that there were gaps in between some of my strands on like a certain side of my hair. And I and all, when I came home, I was doing my own assessment because I'm like, what is going on? But she told me that there were gaps in some of my hair and that could be due to overuse of protein as well as not enough moisture so I need to work on my protein moisture balance and then she realized that my hair was a bit limp when I came in and she said that's because I'm using too much oil on my hair and if you don't know from before like I used to do hot oil treatments weekly on my hair as well as I put on a hair oil in my hair almost every single day and she told me no like i'm not supposed to be doing that i'm supposed to be oiling my hair and my ends like maximum three times for the week because oil actually you know it doesn't moisturize your hair it just sits on top so putting a lot of oil on my hair oil is building up on my hair strands and then moisture is having trouble penetrating so i have to go back to the drawing board in terms of my hair routine work some stuff out she said i need to reduce the amount of protein that i'm using and increase my moisture and obviously reduce the amount of oil i'm using on my hair so i'm going to make those changes <laughs> and then we'll see what happens the next time i go to her and hopefully it's a better report because you know maintaining the integrity of my hair having healthy hair and achieving hair growth are my goals at the moment i'm trying to grow up my hair as long as i can just to see just how long i can get my hair so we have some changes to make i'm actually looking forward to it and i'm excited to see my hair progress and continue to grow moving forward i love how my hair looks you know it looks healthy it looks shiny it's extremely soft 
it's extremely soft and I love that and yeah I'm happy with my progress thus far and I plan on getting my next relaxer at the end of January so it's gonna be a couple months and a longer stretch until my next relaxer so I have time to improve my work and improve on my routine and just strive for more healthy hair so that was my update guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you haven't already please give me a big thumbs up your support is extremely appreciated and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next one bye Ooh.